All right. So we still have a couple folders left. We're getting down to the wire. We're almost ready to build. So it's getting exciting. Um, we still have a few things in here that are marked with to do. But uh, we see this root dir and this init folder. So let's look at this root dir. We'll copy that over. We'll move this into old. And let's deal with this. So this root dir is saying, what do we want to have in root? Now notice, we look at this and we see all these files and they look really familiar. Now make sure you're clear that when we say what we have in root, we mean in the directory, not like root permission. Um, let me hook my phone up here real quick. Uh, and let's pass it to the virtual machine. Okay, there it goes. It opens up. So now I can see it. So we'll ADB shell. So right now we're in root. See this? We print working directory. This is root. This means the root of the file system or the base of the file system. Think of root like the root of plant. Okay, and notice that these files are all in there, right? These QCOM, shell files, and all that kind of stuff, they're right there in the phone. And then this make file is saying, hey, I'm declaring essentially what these are, and we're going to be able to copy them over. So, um, this would be where you would grab the root file from your phone, and then you are using them. Now notice also we unpack that RAM disk and then you have all of them in here as well because these root uh, things get copied into the boot image. Okay, and that's where they reside. So you could, you know, copy over and replace ones. Um, you could actually just compare them and see what you want to change. Um, here in this case, this one has more information than the original one, and either way is fine. Um, see, here's the original one, and it's a lot shorter, but it's not bad to declare more stuff. But it may actually be helpful, especially if you need it for uh, lineage to uh, be able to find something, or depending on your setup. But the important thing is that the information is good information not just that we have extra information. So we have this device block, device by name, uh, and then all these things, you know, and they're the same over here, just a lot shorter list of them. So uh, we have saved, um, you can see that they're the same here. Um, we have saved a list of these uh, boot device by name uh, partitions, so we could actually check these to make sure these are correct. Um, just looking at this over to see if there's anything that's kind of showing up as a flag for me here. <clears throat> um, let's see. Looks like, so the system, notice here, the system has extra stuff, read only, and then it has this barrier equals one, and that barrier equals one is not here. So we could copy that information over if we were worried about that. If you didn't know for sure, that would be probably a good place to, uh, to start putting stuff in. Um, obviously, the closer to the working phone, that you are probably the better it's going to work. Uh, you could look at some of these other ones. And um, this part is really difficult because some of these things will get changed or need to be changed in order to allow uh, lineage or these custom ROMs to run. Some of these things in here will point to something that is specific for the um, vendor's version of Android that you may not have in your lineage ROM. So when you copy these over, you may get some errors of things that are missing or pointing to things that don't exist when you actually boot the phone up. 
so then you have this uh, et cetera file or folder, and it's got this ecom bluetooth.shell. So just some different things that are getting run uh, in the background here. So some of this stuff may need to get changed. Uh, it's kind of, you kind of just have to weed through all of it. Um, I can't see here how to search. I want to search inside the files. I'm not seeing how to do that from this search bar. I know you can do it. I just can't seem to remember. I usually use PCM, uh, PCM FM file manager to uh, search with. I don't have that installed on here, so I'd have to install that. So I was just looking to see if we could find it real quick. But um, in either event, that's what we need to do is go through those two sets of files and see if there's anything that changes and what we need to do with those. Um, then we also have this init folder. So we copy this init folder over as well and open that up. And uh, we, of course, would need to change this to uh, our blocks two with uh, life one X two. And inside we could check it to make sure it doesn't say garlic or something like that in here. Nope, I don't see garlic in there, so that's good. Okay, so what this is doing, it looks like it's for the fingerprint. Yep, here we go, fingerprint sensor. Um, so probably some kind of error they had with the fingerprint that they fixed by doing this. Um, so we may not even need this, but we will go ahead and uh, include it and see if we need it or not. Let's rename it. <clears throat> Obviously, it points to the files that we need. And uh, name it proper for the device that we have. Okay, we'll save that and change it, of course, in our board config.make. I don't think this is in our device.make file, but we'll double check. Make sure we change everything so it's garlic to like one X2. Point it to blue, life one X two. Paste that in there. There we go. All right, so we've got that kind of set up. We'll take this to do out. We may need to change some of this, or it may not help us, or we may even get rid of it later. But at least it gives us a little something to start with. Um, let's search for garlic here. Any reference to garlic? I don't see one. And exit out of our phone shell that we were in, and just push all of our changes up to uh, GitLab. 